And the town was mentioned to me due to the many tourism potentials it is endowed with. A quick decision and the journey to Paria began. We drove for about two hours from Daboya. Paria is a farming and weaving community in the North Gunja district of the Savannah region. Paria means we are here to fight against our enemies. The indigents of Paria are Tampuma and speak the Tampulsi language. From history, their ancestors migrated from Dangbin, which also means an old house, and finally settled here at Paria. Paria has a scattered settlement and is the oldest town in the Tampuma community. In Lunaide, we've been moving from one place to a place and they were sucking them so it come to this place they said no now when our enemy you know those olden days they were at war so when they moved to settle some place they will come there and attack them they will still move you understand that so they come to this destination and they said no no you have to stand and then fight against our enemies we will not move anymore yeah so the means of barrier means we are there to fight against there is no clinic or a chips compound here at Paria. Residents walk for miles to Mankarigo to see a doctor. It is more difficult for pregnant women and children. Hafiz Amina, a 30-year-old mother of three, gave an account of how she lost her child years ago. Her deepest desire is for help to come urgently from the government. Yeah, we endure a lot at labor, and because we do not go for antenatal during pregnancy, it affects our health and that of our baby. With a population of about 700, indigents of Paria say there has not been any major developmental projects in their town. One of their major problems is the absence of electricity electricity in the town. The community has not been connected to the national grid and they say this has worked negatively for them. You have a waterfall here. That one, even if you just Google it, you, you see it, barrier waterfall, you just get it there. But how to get to the waterfall is a problem because there is poor net, uh, road network. You hear of it, but you come here once and you say, oh, I cannot come here again. Access to telecommunication network is almost non-existent. I spotted this particular point within the community where indigents hung their phones on the roof of a building to get connected to a network. There's a community here. We also do vote. We are not uh, outsiders. We are also part of the nation. And everything that is needed by the nation, we also need it. We have the right for everything that those down there, down south, have, we work equally have the right to get it. The road network here is poor. The people say, due to this, no vehicle operates here. They only rely on motorbikes, referred to as Okada, which is not always available. Our rooms get flooded any time it rains. The roads are unmotorable, and it has affected patronage of the waterfall, which is a tourist site here. The people of Paria believe in the fact that a country is developed if her rural communities have the basic amenities like hospitals, good roads, communication network, and proper educational facilities in place. They are therefore appealing to government for assistance soon so they too can catch up with the world and give back to the children in the community. Beatrice Sanaju, GBC News, Paria.